I want to now bring up your what you're currently doing. Let's say I, I actually okay. know know you as a, as a, as like I say, philosopher, photographer, whatever have you. What 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 is your work right now? I'm doing a few things. Right now, I'm um, I'm teaching. I'm teaching normally more. It used to be Columbia and NYU. Now it's just Columbia. But I'm teaching a course on maroon societies. But I think the maroon society course is evidence. Is a course that's based on the fact that there's evidence that people resisted this model, the model that we inherited and we think of as normal. That young Yorba woman asked me about. She never questioned this as a model. She, because she, she, what she's talking about is, well, why is what you're teaching valid? Why, is, why should anybody give a damn about that? Well, it's been in contradistinction to the real world that is like you find in academia normally. You know, and my answer was that real world that you've accepted is the very world that's destroying the planet. You know, you can look at it as normal, or you can look at it as some aberration that has its time and it's, it's over. You know, hopefully it's over. So any evidence you can offer to people who resisted that is um, giving comfort and courage to those who want to resist it now. That this system has failed and it's it's uh, destructive. You know, and we can't we can't continue this way on the planet. You know. Yeah. The other course that I teach is basically the same type of thing. It's called Honey is My Knife, African Spirituality in the Americas. And it's just validating African religious philosophies. It's talking about them not as some aberration to the next, to the great um, traditions of um, Abraham, you know, but as being normal and valid unto themselves. And also, not only normal and valid, but also therapeutic for our particular problems and needs of the planet right now. That these traditions help you understand that it's not the gross materialism of the West, particularly the United States, where all it is is raping the planet for the resources. Mm. Well, this is, you, you, you talked a little bit about uh, before, a little bit earlier, about uh, Christianity coming and really taking over Africa, being being a tool of that. And I, I see it every day. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean uh, oh gosh, I want to get into that part of it, but. Um, I, in fact, let me just, just this this interesting thing. In fact, I did a commentary on this one also about how in uh, Uganda uh, you had these uh, Southern Christians train these new politicians, right. and then they go back and and, and, and excuse what they're, they're killing gay people, whatever have you. I don't, I don't care what about this. My problem is that I don't care whether they're gay, whatever have. You. My thing is they're killing Africans. These are Africans mm -hmm. killing other Africans, and then and that's the bottom line. And they're also killing albinos for their hair. Oh yeah, no, so but the but the I guess one 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 what I'm getting at is. Um, it's almost like people don't want to give up this model that they bought into because they're afraid it's some sort of lottery that they'll lose the, that they won't be able they won't get their chance to subjugate to whatever right, have you. Right. So I don't. Um, do you have any take on well, that? Well, I don't think it's just subjugate. I think it's not the drive to subjugate, but also Christianity and, and uh, those other uh, religions. The traditions of Abraham always talk about what happens if you don't practice this. You know, and if it's true. You know, you burn in hell forever. You know, you, you know. I mean, it just the, the whole different ways they can construct hell too. It's a really interesting. Thing. Oh, <laughs> no, no, it's interesting because I, 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 I always get a rise out of these folks because when they want to give me the word of God or something like that, I said, "Well, we have a problem here because I don't believe in heaven. I don't believe in hell. I don't believe the immaculate conception. I don't believe so. I don't believe in original sin. So there's nothing you can particularly, you know. So what are you, what are you talking about? And they get they. It just spins their head. They can't mm. get into that. And here's the whole other thing: like they'll go to they'll go to church and they'll they'll tell the the the, the African, you know, the, the autochthonous African, well, you can't you forget your lineage. You know, your lineage. You know, you have to go from Jesus all up to Adam. Right, and everything. Right. I said, well, and I, and I tell I tell other Africans. I say, wait a second. Don't you? What, what, give me your lineage. What, what what is your clan name? And then you have to list your clan name all over. Isn't that just as valid as as Jesus' clan? So what's the what's the problem here? Mm -hmm. And I'm. Then, then I go and tell them about you know because they're like friends in South Africa. There's a amata. Amata is the is, is like I look at it as like a, a fabric between whatever and so so you have to sacrifice an animal whatever have you to so you can talk to your your ancestors. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that's just as valid as anything else. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? And they uh, the, and, and a lot of the young folks they they've erased that memory. But the older people they get it, but they still are so invested. 
in, 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 in this uh, Christianity as it's really a, a social construct. It's almost like a, they, 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 they go to church for business rather than for, for worship. That's where they meet their business partners sure. or whatever it is. So I guess th what the problem is that the Christianity, whatever it is, they've taken over on some other levels. Uh, and and and, the, and and your regular African spiritualness uh, doesn't do those levels. I it's, agree. It's, it's, well, not anymore. Well, that was one of the problems too with um, Buddhism. You don't find Buddhism in India anymore because they didn't have um, social institutions. Yeah. So when Islam came in, Islam had all that. So you know, there was no particular reason to have it after after. Um, uh, Islam came and you didn't need to, you know, there's no one to do a, a Buddhist wedding anymore, you know, at least in, at least in India. The kind of changed uh, in other countries too. But it, 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 it um, uh, denied the importance of those kind of traditions and it led to its own extinction, you know, because it didn't have all those social stuff that, that's necessary for a society. But, you know, it's, it's funny though because, man, Talk about lineage. There's a woman I can't think of her name now. Who's a, a black woman? Well, she's Jamaican and Chinese, mm -hmm. and she did a thing looking for her grandfather, and it's called Finding Samuel Lowe. Mm -hmm. And so I've heard about that. Yeah, this brilliant film. You have to see it though. Mm -hmm. And everybody black in the audience is waiting. Okay, wait till they get to China, and the Chinese don't want to have anything to do with them, you know, because they're like she takes like 19 members of her, of her black family back to China, mm -hmm. and the people in China say, Yeah, where were you? We've been waiting for you. You know, yeah. we know all about you. Your grandfather talked about you, you know. And then she, they took her to the town where they come from. The Hakka people, they took her to the town where they come from and to the family cemetery. She could trace her lineage back to before Christ. The names of every ancestor before that. Yeah. I mean, it was like scary when you said, wait a minute, you know, some people got that? Yeah, they got cemeteries in China that go back before Christ. You know, they can tell you where, you know, well, this great 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 grandfather, this great 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 grandfather, this great 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 grandfather, you know, and they know, because they have more great 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 grandmother, they're all listed. Mm -hmm. you know? And she was, first of all, shocked to see that they welcomed her back in, but then now she could now, she was attached to over a thousand years of written lineage. You know, so, so they, but you have to see the film, it's a beautiful film, though, but, mm -hmm. but finding Samuel Lowe, you know, so. Okay, okay. But it's just another way of looking at the planet, and, and you know it's just really funny because when we, if we look at it in, in terms of the United States, I think one of the problems with black people are thinking of, of ourselves as the only people who suffered in this terms of recent interaction with Europeans. But no one has suffered more than the native population too, of, of oh, the Americas. You know, oh because wherever you go in the Americas, and you find black people who are at the bottom. Then you look beneath black people, you find the native population. Oh, it's interesting because I was to I, I do a research with a, with a group of young people out of Dumbaza, mm -hmm. and I tell them I said, it's, they, they said, look, you have your little, you, no, I'm sorry, you have your South African struggle, but I said the problem is that you're going to you you now you're going to continue because you want your economic freedom, but I said that if you are a freedom fighter then you have to look beyond your own freedom. And I said, and I said now right. look, look at the, 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 the Lakota, Lakota Indians. Where your, your objective should be to free the Lakota. Right. So in other words, to get to free the Lakota, first you have to free yourself. And they get it right away. It's amazing. Mm. They get it right away. Yeah. We who believe in freedom cannot get rest. It. Yeah, some young people get it. Oh. Because you know, there's something in them uh, when they take things said to them seriously. And there's a kind of concept, they look at it and say, oh, wait a minute, this is problematic. Uh, you know, this, this doesn't work. Uh-oh. We don't know why, but it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, do, do you have anything, any final things to say? I don't want to keep you, you're, you're a man of...